Hello oh, and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our Ireland versus Austria match reaction, and we have uh, Martin and Graham from the Seagulls Supporters Club, and they're on to join us today. And um, we'll kick things off by talking about the starting eleven. So ran off and goal, no shock there. No, not really. Um, I know we made a bit of a howler last week, but you know, it's going to happen. He's back again for him, really, like you know, West Ham, but. Um, I thought he was uh, he was unlucky. I hit off the defender's shoulder and kind of went in. I know he shouldn't be coming out for the cross, yeah. but and then another day that could have just went anywhere. It just yeah, happened to yeah, go into yeah. the net. Could have it. Was shut up. It's done with us now. Yeah, yeah. as I far as yeah. some farm keepers, I suppose he's what must be. Yeah, must be thinking. What does he have to do to get a to get a crack at it? You know. Yeah. He's he's definitely the farm keeper of the championship. This man is not getting his game at a club level, but yeah, he's, he's stepping in ahead of him. But he hasn't let us down, fairness. Yeah, no, for Ireland, no, besides, 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 how do you just think he, he fared throughout the game, Glenn? Yeah. yeah, I think I think he done all right. I thought we might have seen a bit more of him going down the down the wing, but um, we didn't we didn't do too much in that sense. I didn't think for for the first half anyway. Yeah. Um, I thought we would have seen a bit more of him, but I think he's one for the future and he will do well. I think he still still will, will step in and he'll learn off Coleman as well. So I think he was all right. Yeah, what about yourself, Graham? Do you think yeah. he was a bit uh, a bit cautious compared to well, your, the other guy? Mm. Like, I don't think he he's probably not as, as much attacking minded as Coleman is, you know. Yeah. But then again, Coleman's you know, he's he's a top player like as well. But as I said, Christy, you know, he still has a bit to learn and I think he he will be one for the future, definitely. Mm. Yeah. I think that was a lot to do with the way O'Neill set the team up. He's very conservative in that approach that yeah. he didn't want to, to lose the game. He, he, you know, I was going to the game more confident than than what we got out of our world. But I thought we were going to win the game and be a more aggressive attacking force. But I think O'Neill set back the type compared to how we played against Uruguay. Yeah, we didn't seem to move the ball as well. And I think Christie was restricted in that sense that he was kind of told this is what we want out of you, and that was that. You know? Yeah, exactly. I would have to agree with you on that. Now, as far as the centre half partnership with uh, Long and Duffy, kind of similar to the Uruguay game again. Uh, I thought they earned their, their positions there, mm. sent that back. How yeah, I was impressed with Long, I thought he was, you know, for a like, competitive debut. Yeah. I thought he was... A lot of people after the game, when we got the match reactions, did come out and say that they thought Kevin Long was the man of the match for us mm. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, didn't do too bad, no, we didn't do a whole yeah. lot of Long, to be fair. And, you know, another one, again, just had a little couple of experience as well. And obviously, Martin on Ale and Kane obviously see something in them to yeah. stick him in for the, you know, such a... High profile game as well. So it's good to see them bringing some youth in and not relying on too many yeah, old, exactly, older yeah. players. Like the likes of, like he could have easily put up Shay and there with the experience, but yeah. he decided to go with them. Right, the fresh air. Yeah. yeah. And then Ward, I suppose there's no real shock there. He was going to start no matter yeah. what. Really mm. seemed to pull up with an injury or, or something. I see. We did see him kind of. He went out for a ball or something, and he ended up falling over. And I could see him when he got back up. He was it looked like he was holding his no, hamstring. We, no, we missed that out here. <laughs> well, he did. He, did, he went off anyway. He yeah, did come off. So, so that's that probably what happened yeah. then. And then Robbie Brady kind of filled in over on the left end. That's didn't have one of those better games. He's a boy to Brady as well. I thought he, he didn't seem to be as influential as I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. Considering he was very, very good against the uh, Uruguay. Yeah, and then when he went dropped into 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 left back, his his passing was poor enough. He didn't seem to get McLean going at all. Yeah, yeah. He was giving a lot of poor mm -hmm. ball into him, you know. As far as uh, anyway, the midfield. So are you going to say something? No, no, no. Go on, go on. Uh, as far as the midfield, uh, Arthur. Uh, Hendrick and Whelan there was uh, no real shock there I think the only only thing that m might have kind of been um, or not a surprise was to bring maybe Hulahan in but most of us had kind of agreed there last week when we were doing the preview that uh, we'd have Wesel coming off the bench Yeah personally though for me I'd have Wes starting all day long he'd be my, probably my number one Who would you, who would you drop if, if you were to put him in? I'd go with Whelan drop Whelan yeah. Yeah. the only thing it falls back on the conservative doesn't it? Yeah, Whelan's yeah. gonna sit there. That's what yeah. he's doing. Yeah. But Arthur was sitting there for most of the game as well. Yeah, if you yeah. get one of them other lads, because Hillen's the only one that can play with the ball. Like, yeah, you know, yeah Arthur, exactly. Arthur can go into that role and kind of break up the play and stuff like that. But he's a good ball player. Yeah. He'd, be, he'd be better deeper giving it to someone who'd be better at spraying it. Yeah, yeah. obviously. And it does talk about time when Hillen came into the game. It was the whole approach had changed. The ball was going long. 
it, he was never going to be the influence that you wanted yeah. him because it was just being bypassed, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Where maybe start him and let him get 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 the the game get flowing. Him. Yeah. And, and you know you, when you look at and Alba was doing exactly what we would have wanted Hulan to do for us he was controlling just the sitting there, there right, yeah. very yeah. similar to the Wales game and the fact that Joe Allen just sit, sat there and just pushed ball around and got them moving you know got yeah. Wales moving Alba did the same for them we thought we had no one I thought I'd, we lacked a lot of energy in midfield and I know I've, I've been a bit critical of Whelan uh, since the game but like I, I do think he's been a great servant but it seems to me with the substitution to happen it seems to me although he did captain the team that his time is, is, is coming near to an end uh, yeah, no, as far as a starting player anyway yeah, yeah. yeah. but like Hulahan's time is coming to an end too he's like you know he's, he's got long no, he's, chicken, he's got longevity yeah. you, you go back you remember him playing against Deportivo when he was with Shelbourne and that yeah. was in the old lands down the road yeah. you know so yeah. He's got some mileage on the clock there, and I think we need to be using them while we have a chance. Yeah. I think it's gonna it's gonna come to an end soon, like you know. Yeah, I think the other thing as well was saying saying this before we came on. The Hendrick came out today and said he said fair play to Long, but he said oh, he was terrible. Over put his hand up in a minute that he wasn't great. Hendrick, th- yeah, Hendrick, and I yeah, think he's another one that that was that is for the future, and we did really lack the direction. He, he normally just goes for. Yeah, it's not, there was not a bite. Yeah, yeah, but in the Euros and stuff, and in previous games, he's been great at just getting us forward, and I think we missed that. Yeah. Um, we could have said he set ahead of the ball a bit more. Yeah. I, I don't think that's his game. I think he needs to be Deeper. driving. Driving on, yeah, and pushing into the space. Yeah. Right. Or pushing the ball into and the space. And then, like, you know, having the whole pitch in front of him, I think when, when he has it to turn. As he's back to the game, I think he's, he's, gone, he's yeah. gone, you know? Yeah, it's not really his game. Now, as far as. Um, the front three then, I suppose we would call it a front three, with uh, McLean, Walters and Brady. I didn't think, with the way they set up, it was odd that they were hitting so many long balls. And it looked like they yeah. we should be playing a 4-3-3, three, three, they should be getting the ball a lot wider. Yeah. And it just seemed to be a long ball after long ball and getting Walters to try and run in behind. Now, he's not the most paciest person in the world. And he was uh, when we did the aftermatch reaction... There was a lot of people being critical, saying that mm. Shane Long would have ran into the holes that Walters yeah, did, but yeah. I thought Walters ran all day long. I thought he played very well, yeah. early, you know, he's, he was feeding off scraps. He was battling Ram as well, he was just muscling yeah. lads out of it, and, like, even for his goal. Yeah. He, 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 he could never do you know, it. Like. Walters, he's a warrior when it comes to Orleans. Yeah. When he mm. puts a jersey on, he wants to be well yeah. for Orleans. The same as yeah. McLean a bit. Like, he ran yeah. all day, definitely would have been looking to give more ball out wide and get get McLean running at them, you know. I think that would have been a... You know, a frightening aspect for the Austrians, but he know, looked dangerous every time he got the ball. Yeah, that wide, uh, McLean, didn't. they did. They looked like he, they feared him a good bit. Yeah, we just didn't seem to use him enough. I don't think. I mean, and then some of the ball that was getting played into him was was poor enough. It seemed to be yeah. more behind him, and he was having to come back instead of getting the ball out in front of him so he could he could drive at them. You know. Yeah, and then Brady, I don't know what was going on with him. He didn't seem to to be doing much uh, the first half anyway. No. Seemed to come a bit when he went to left back in the second half. He seemed to be a bit more influential. He used to just taking the ball off Randolph and kind of like taking the the game a bit by the scuff of the neck and trying to get uh, pick out passes and stuff yeah, yeah. rather than lumping it yeah. long. And that was yeah. when the like uh, when the subs came on then. Um, well, we talked about the goals anyway. We talked we talk about the, their goal first anyway, um, from the corner. It was well worked out, Tano, to be fair. It was straight out the training ground, yeah. wasn't it, really? Like, you know, it's just, I mean, low ball in, your man through the legs. and there was your It was man a great finish. I, it I was a great finish. Anyone yeah. who would yeah. be good is uh, Randolph, like uh, Steve. But um, <laughs> uh, I just don't think he'd done anything wrong. I was right in the corner. I watched it back. Yeah. And, it, the and well, it, it, yeah. there was a defender or some, there was a player anyway in the way it could be Austria or Irish I couldn't remember but it, you could see when he kind of comes at it the ball's already passed by the time he even yeah. dives so there's nothing yeah, he could yeah, do about it the yeah, it was a control finish and they're, they're technically very gifted football as well yeah. most of these continental players and you could see that he was well able to yeah. strike the ball yeah. you're always taught to put the ball back where it came from yeah. and yeah. that's what that's all you had to do and it was it's just disappointing to travel so across the box seemed to be two lucky two well, step well, overs yeah. you know and and it was still, and it was still got step over by Proddle as well, who's probably one of the worst players <laughs> in the Premier League, <laughs> yeah. I'd say, like, which is interesting enough. Yeah. I suppose that could have been the art of distraction. <laughs> <laughs> he probably tried it. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll move on to the to the subs that came on then. Uh, obviously Ward um, Ward went off then, and then um, Hulin came on as well as um, Murphy and... Then who else came on? Well, Murphy came McGeady, on first. McGee. Well, McGee came on at the end. <laughs> and it, it did seem to give us a bit of a spark then, obviously, uh, going forward. 
they looked petrified of us. Um, they didn't, after we made the subs, they didn't really look like going forward. Then yeah. they looked like they were hanging on for a, for a draw. And the keeper, every single time, was a goal a goal kick from probably the f- even actually probably from the 49th minute. I think he was I'm wasting sorry, time. Yeah, yeah. And right, the crowd like was minute. starting to get on his back. Um, but as far as their uh, chances, I mean, from set pieces, we were we were causing havoc. And yeah, obviously. Good thing that comes down to Walsh as well, like, as I said, like muscle lads out of it and you know, we had big lads as well, like, like some Murphy come out then as well, he's well able in the air and mm. stuff like that as well. Like, so. I thought Walters continuously with throughout the game was getting pushed in the back. Like blatantly pushed in the back yeah, and getting yeah. nothing for it, like Yeah, probably was. There seemed to be a lot of stuff being picked up uh, you know, against ourselves more so than than the Austrians. I think the referee yeah. was leaning definitely towards them. There was one hand ball in the first half. It couldn't have been any more. Your man's yeah. hand was a mile in the air, and it, I don't know how. I think the ref said it after the game. They had a 12 man today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he said he was going to get in trouble. He just yeah. doesn't give a shit. Does no, he can't say legend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as far as in, then, yeah, as far as chances was, I mean, we had two cleared off the line, and then obviously um, uh, Randolph then making that save from Harnick was obviously vital uh, for us not to go down two 0 then, um, and then Walter's gone up the other end then. Yeah, but uh, Randall's save was, was huge as well. Like that, mm. you know, that was yeah, game seven, yeah. Yeah. you know. And then, as you said, we we won this allowed. It was it was I was a bit soft now. But yeah. I think mm. what kind of went against us was the fact that it was two of them. Yeah. On, on the one, on the one yeah, defender, right. like you know, and maybe that's what kind of persuaded the ref then to to get the free. Well, we talk about our goal. Um, he certainly had all the momentum. Like with some finish by by Walters. I thought it was going wide, whatever way you hit it, but it was, yeah. it was a quality, like when oh, you watch yeah. it back. It was a posture, it just looked so, like a crane or something. It was really yeah. Proper, yeah. Awkward, yeah. proper yeah. sliced across. Yeah, it was a great finish. It was a great finish, great finish, finish. in fairness. I, I thought he was going to miss. Okay. I thought he could have taken another touch, you see, yeah. and then just kind of placed it, but like yeah. fair play, he put it in. He had the space in front of him, like you know, mm. to go in, yeah. one, but he just hit it straight away as soon as he lost the defender. And I just in. thought everything there seemed to go away away then like momentum yes. yeah. I yeah. thought the fans played the crowd, huge role absolutely got the crowd uh, going big time the place was rocking they were they were they were they were quaking they were yeah. they were yeah and that's that's what quaking. I'm thinking going forward for the Serbia game if we can get an atmosphere like that for the whole 90 minutes yeah fans are you listening um, if we can get an atmosphere like that for the whole uh, 90 minutes though in all fairness the yeah. Aviva's not a nice place to go for I think other it's, teams it's, you know? like, it's hard I thought the atmosphere was great at the start but we, we didn't give... You have to give something yeah, for the fans. Yeah, you know, exactly. And if, if you're going to play so you know negative and be conservative about your approach, there's nothing there. There was nothing to get the crowd yeah, going. Yeah, that's and true. And yeah. as, the, as the, with the goal going in and then as the half came to an end, as the fourth half came to an end, people just seemed to be you know, disinterested. Fizzled out a bit, you know? yeah. So it was it was only then when we had a real go them that, that got yeah. the atmosphere back yeah. up again. But that so wasn't until about the seventieth minute or so around that like, kind of around that you, you, need, you need to be going at your home games going at these teams, mm. especially with the with the air squad it was supposed to be in this way. I know O'Neill was constantly saying he wasn't buying into that. But we should have gone for it, we should have had a chance, yeah. you know. In terms of our back line it's not not the strongest in our well, like, yeah. is a good player. Well, uh, he just got a little little flick off Walters and he's gone for the goal. Yeah, wasn't but he's been he? going down with his knee consistently. Yeah, oh, yeah Jesus, yeah. he should have been he should have been booked there for that. Like it was constantly just going disgrace. down, wasting time. Uh, but I think yeah, I do think I do rate him as a good player. Yeah, it was a trade at the back that that should have said made us play more football. To, yeah. You know, we did, we didn't really have an answer to that, and it's the same. It's been seen across Europe all season when teams play three at the back. You know when you're you're up against it the first time, you don't know what to do. Yeah, it's one Chelsea the league. It's 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 happened all over yeah. all over well, Europe. Now midfield, since they get the midfield crowded. Yeah, and with us playing the three, and then obviously they be playing the five. That's kind of a yeah, and that's, and that's when you're you're out number, but then you yeah. haven't got a player there who, who in their middle middle park that can control the game and, and yeah. get a pass and get somebody out wide mm. and get somebody going. Where you if a lot you look at you, Arthur Whelan. Hendrick, they're gonna hustle and hurry, but they're mm. not gonna to put the first. Well. I think he thought that Arthur would be the the one to take kind of take the game by by the by the um by the horns really, but think, he didn't really seem to. I think Arthur eventually will. He was I good. He, he was needs solid. to settle into to the Irish squad in international football. But I think he will a, get there. There's still a question about whether he's gonna be a starter each time he yeah. comes around. You yeah. Know, so I'm I mean, hoping he will be. To be honest, he looks great in the fancy warmer team, but yeah. Well, like hopped off some, well he did, he, did. Yeah. he was great against Austria mm. away from home yeah you know what I mean so um, 
I mean, going forward, I, I, I'd love him to be a starter, and if he can kind of break through and, and remain in the squad now, and maybe take Whelan's place for good now, and then maybe I don't know. You're saying Wezo's coming to an end there. We're gonna need someone to kind of come in. You know what I mean? Um, our squad is aging, and we need kind of new blood coming in at the same time. Especially if we're gonna do any well at the World Cup, if we get there. You know what I mean? You now, as far as our kind of games left, I mean, we've got Moldova, Georgia, Serbia, yeah, and yeah. Wales. Yeah. Two home, two away, isn't it? Yeah, away, now, home. all those games are winnable, but at the same time, they uh, they have potential for banana skins yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, yeah, on yeah. them. I, think I mean, Georgia, if Georgia, away, isn't it? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, so we have it here, Georgia and Serbia, isn't it? Georgia and Serbia, yeah. Serbia yeah Georgia, Tuesday, yeah. September 2nd, yeah. You really should be getting three points when you go to Georgia. No, not an easy yeah. They drew 2-2 the other day. With and, the, you're, and you're two behind. Yeah, so they came back in you know, Georgia. Yeah. Obviously, we've we've played them before in the past, and without the um, magic of McGeady, yeah. that time um, we we well, we would have been hanging on there. But as far as uh, we need we need to go there and go aim for three points, not no more draws. Mm. To be honest with you, um, and then Moldova, they're obviously the worst team in the group. But at the same time, there is potential banana skin there. Yeah, uh, we yeah. we we need to be going at least aiming for three uh, for six points out of the next two, and yeah, then that yeah. and then could, that could lift us because Austria still could beat uh, Serbia or Wales. I I believe anyway, yeah. they will cause other teams hassle now. If the manager if their manager um, for Austria mm. might get the sack in the meantime, they might bring someone in who they actually like. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And that and that yeah. could boost them because they're not a bad side as we've seen. Like they, uh, if they're supposed to be playing with a a half shift team I mean they weren't all that bad I know we weren't great either but I suppose we probably made them look a bit better than yeah. they were especially the first half yeah as you said like the first half we were just dreadful well now we're going to get into it in the second half but we had to play like that in the first half we probably would have beaten them but yeah um, I think the problem with us now was like, the lack of scoring goals, goals. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's what's going to hamper us as well and, like, the likes of Georgia games and, like, you've now obviously no rugby can there anymore and would you um, would you take Sean McGuire is there someone now for Preston now? Well, I don't know. Like it's, it's a huge step up. Like look at Richie Tell when he went to yeah. England. Yeah. He never got a sniff in the championship. And I'll try him in the squad just for an oh, striker. Oh, like it's on, yeah. Like, I suppose like, you put Daryl Horgan in there and he isn't done too bad as well when he's come on and, mm. you know, played a few couple of games. And yeah. He has impressed. Like, um, yeah, try him into the squad and see if he gets on. Yeah, squad, I mean, yeah. at least if O'Neill tries him in the squad, you can have a look at him in training and see what he's like yeah, against the him. Ireland uh, defenders and stuff like that yeah, and see yeah, how yeah. he fares a bit maybe then. Yeah. And then if, if like, why not bring him on after 60 minutes or something like that and have a real go at it? Yeah. I'd like to see us have a go at, at these teams, uh, but don't, uh, obviously, you were saying about us being too conservative, obviously find a balance. Yeah, mm. I know. That, that's, the, that's, I think, O'Neill's problem. He doesn't... He sets his teams up not to lose, and then uh, as the game progresses, he tries to push on to yeah. get a win. But he's more trying to sneak a win than, than actually planning yeah. to go mm-hmm. all out. Sometimes he's wonder is, he, is his mentality get to the playoffs with two games to program for for qualification? Yeah. I think that's nearly more his uh, if we could, approach. If, if we could get nine nine points out of twelve. I'd be absolutely delighted and I think we'd qualify no yeah, problem. Yeah. It's, it's the goals again though. Like you look at Murphy's gonna be sitting on the bench in Newcastle, Long's gonna be sitting on the bench with Austin back at Southampton. I think I think Long will, will move this summer. Well, I hopefully hope. for the Irish squad I think we need it we need one of one of the I'd like them to see, two at least. I'd like to see Long join one of maybe uh, either a team that stayed up last year or uh, a newly promoted team. I'd like to see him join he's just so more just clinical. Yeah, he's, 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 Great at what he does, you know, winning headers and running into these spaces. We just need to be more clinical. Yeah, yeah. for days. Yeah. I, I, I wonder. I think I feel like he did well in it. In a like I always talk to my lad about it. Um, in in a bigger team, like I'd love to see him go into. I would have loved to see Tottenham good, sign him or yeah. I'd, 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 I'd love to see him at Everton. To be honest with yeah. you, yeah, playing up front with whoever they sign now. Well, I thought um, I thought when the, when Kilman went there that that, that was that, that was, was the good. talk that yeah. was going around that he was. Yeah, they were talking that they wanted to get him with uh, up there up front with Lukaku as yeah. a runner from, yeah. mm. which would have been great because he would have been. Although he's small, he does win a lot of headers and he's like he is strong. Oh, yeah. he's he's a small I think he would have pushed on at a a bigger team. I think that's probably the issue. He's amazing leap on him. Yeah, yeah. And just run for days like an energizer yeah. when he is. Now, as far as um, like going forward, um, do you think we'll, do you think we'll qualify? Yeah, I think we've we definitely potential to, as you say, get nine points. We've definitely, uh, I'd say we have to be Georgia away. For me, that's 
six points there against yeah, Georgia and Serbia. Mm. We win them. Right. Like, and then there's that local derby down with Wales in the last one. Be, be interesting. Yeah, you know. Top the group. You don't want to be going to Wales, well, Chase. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. So you get the, the, the nine points. You, 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 you want to be better. having yourself in a position that you're actually going out there just to you're already a party mode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think more of a real, I think more of a realistic tag would be seven. <laughs> Both the uh, heavy seven and twelve. <laughs> yeah. I'd say to win against Georgia and Moldova, and then I can't see him not to, lose. To I can't Serbia. see. Yeah, exactly. I don't see he's gonna. I can't. Don't see him going out to try and beat Serbia. I think he's just gonna be happy to to to, to get a result. Take from it that. as it is. Yeah. Uh, He's definitely looking at George and Moldova as, as, as winners. They're the ones that he wants, you know? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, every time we get to Wales, they're not looking as good as the. They haven't looked good at all the qualifying campaign. But the fact that the four points out uh, for now, he's hoping that that's not going yeah. to change. That's not going to change. That's going to change, you know? But they coming along against Austria and they're going to cancel each other out, stuff like that, you know? Yeah, so as far as uh, internationals, anyway, uh, yourselves, the, the two you lads were playing for the. Paddy Rack Seagulls there and the Ireland Supporters Club. Yeah, yeah, and sadly we were uh, by the Austrian fan club. But uh, that was our fourth game that we started about two years ago, wasn't it? About two years ago, yeah. Uh, Wayne, Wayne O'Sullivan, who runs the whole show, he had, a, he had a dream of going to New York and playing the game, so we all... <laughs> Bought into it. Uh, Bought into it. And the American um, dream. Yeah, yeah. Well, the fact that it was St. Patrick's Day also was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. St. Patrick's Day again made it a, a bonus. Okay, so <laughs> when, you, when you went to New York, who was the first team you played there? We played uh, Manhattan Celtic. Yeah. Okay, and where, what, where else have you played? We've been over to um, uh, Switzerland and we played the, the Mountain Rescue, uh, the Swiss International Mountain Rescue team up in uh, the highest pitch in Europe, Europe yeah. the second highest pitch in the world. <laughs> So there you go. So now two or three thousand feet above sea level. And yeah, we said that. Did you catch your breath? Oh, yeah. It's tough. It's, geez, it was tough. It's, it in, was. it's in a village called Gaspron, and uh, it was. It was Is that the one that they had to spawn at Gaspron? Yeah. No, it's just a similar name, so oh, okay. didn't yeah. spell it. Yeah. But uh, it was an experience. Let's say absolute. Absolutely Dead. amazing, you know. Yeah, there's and no other way to get to this pitch bar, cable car. Cable like you car. can go up so far in the car, <laughs> up the mountain, and then as soon as you get up to a certain height, you just have to get a cable car all the way up to the top that's of the pitch. That's, that's yeah. quality. And it's, so it's uh, New York, uh, Switzerland, is there anywhere else you've we been? We played it, Austria, we played. Oh, you've played Austria, Austria yeah. yeah. We won't talk about that game, though, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> on the score lines now, when we had them together as a, a two toy, uh, we, we won on away goals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, come on, you boys agree. As far as the uh, the game there on, on Saturday, you know, uh, that was um, out in Bray Wanderer Stadium. Great day out. Yeah, um, mm. Wayne had been in touch with Bray and they were kind enough to offer us the ground and the whole facilities. Uh, the FUI rolled in then with a full full kit. Could have been a little bit larger. But <laughs> 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 whatever. We <laughs> 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 well, it was a great experience. Great experience. It was a decent turnout from the Seagull supporters and the Austrians were there as well in, in force and in noise. Sir the Squirrel, the DJ, was bassing out the sound. I thought it was great. Crack. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, good day out. I thought it was yeah. very well organised. Very well. Yeah. Really great fun out there. Yeah. They had all the uh, Jack Charlton music and all going yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, it, was it, was it was great to play. Pitch is huge, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have to say, I was quite jealous watching his players. I really don't show that, yeah. <laughs> and then they won the national anthem as well. It's quality, yeah, it was, was a great experience, like, you know, to, to do that type of thing. And yeah, and now you have it, you have another game now coming up. Um, when's that? Yeah, we're going to Amsterdam in no, October, no, November, November, there, November, 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 November 4th. I think we're heading out November 4th. Yeah, and it's part of club over there, then as well. So getting yeah. the weekend out of that. Happy days. And uh, if, 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 if you were uh, a randomer off the street and you were looking to join the Seagulls, how would you how would you go about doing that? Just, just signing getting, up? Get in touch with Wayne and, uh, through the Facebook or whatever. And the Facebook page, do. Twitter are set up there. So you want yeah. to contact Body them. Back Seagulls, is it called? Uh, it's the Seagulls now. Does, it, they've expanded outside of the yeah. Yeah. Outside Body Back. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, it, it just became re- reincarnated as the Seagulls. The Seagulls, yeah. Irish supporters. Club. They've, they've over they 750 members last year or something like that. Point season tickets. They're after exceeding that now. This I know year, the season tickets on, on, on sale now as well, uh, Wayne was saying. Yeah, yeah, they're on sale now up until the, the first, first of July. July yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. get in touch if you're, if you're interested in, in any um, of the season tickets. Um, 
Yeah, so we leave it at that then. <laughs> Thanks very Cheers. much for coming on, on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Graham and yeah. Mark, it's a pleasure, very much lads. appreciated. Pleasure. Pleasure. Welcome back any time. Hopefully we'll yeah. have couches and stuff set up by then. <laughs> it's a bit more comfortable. Look forward to it. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you now. Thanks very much.